to you. Personalize it one more time. It's my month of what? You are manifesting where? To your organization? To your family? You are manifesting where? Don't forget the scripture. I started that teaching yesterday, amount of manifestation. It's manifestation time. Part two, I'm continuing from where we stopped last Sunday. And we said Romans 8, 19 is our anchor scripture. The endless expectation of the entire world, of creature, they wait for the manifestation of the sons and the daughter of God. I pray for you, you will not disappoint destiny. You will manifest to your world. So you are not a local champion. Your world is waiting for you. Not just Jibo, not just your family, not just Nigeria. The entire world is waiting for you. Who is that person the world is waiting for? You will shine this year. Yeah. Your world will see your glory. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. The earnest expectation of the entire creature. They wait for the manifestation of the sons of God. Matthew chapter 5, 13 and 14. I told you that you are the light of the world. You are the salt of the earth. You are the city that is set on the hill that cannot be hidden. We read from Isaiah 61. And I told you last Sunday, for you to shine, you must live where you are. You must make move. Arise, shine, for your light is come. You can't shine on the floor. You must stand up. Arise. Somebody make move. Do something you have not done before in this month of June. Make positive move that will affect your life. Last Sunday, I also, showed, I also told you, if you're going to manifest and affect your world, you cannot afford to have only one source of income. You know, it's an abuse of the grace you carry for you to have only one source of income. Multiple streams have been opened to you. Shout, I receive. I receive. Somebody receive fresh idea. Yeah. Idea that will rule your world. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Your world is waiting for you. You won't have one source. You have multiple streams, multiple sources in the name of Jesus. And I told you that manifestation means to be revealed, to be displayed, to be unveiled, to demonstrate. It means a showing forth. No longer you, will you be in the hiding. You'll be shown forth into your word in the mighty name of Jesus. Your word is waiting for you. Obadiah 1 21 says, Saviors shall come out of Mount Zion and they will judge the Mount of Esau. We are the Savior of our generation. The world is waiting for us. Our generation is waiting for us. Beyond our family, our organization, beyond our church, our world is waiting for us. I pray for someone here, you won't disappoint destiny. In the name of Jesus, your mountain will be exalted above every other mountain. And nations will flow into you. No embassy will reject you. No embassy will say no to you. No organization will say no to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, it's time for you to arise. And I told you last Sunday, to arise means to happen. It's time for you to happen to your world. To demonstrate to your world. It's time for you to show forth to your world. And we went forth last Sunday to say for you to manifest and that's where we're going to continue. I gave you only one point. I'm going to give you number two today. Number one point you need to note for you to manifest is you must know who you are. You must know who you are. Recognizing the personality that God has made you. You are not a nobody. You are somebody special. You must know who you are. Psalm 82, 5 to 7, he said they don't know. They don't understand. So they die in darkness. And all the foundation of the earth, they are out of course. I've said to you, you are God. And all of you are the children of the Most High. But because they don't know. And Hosea 4, 6 says, my people are destroyed because they lack knowledge. They lack the knowledge of who they are. You are not supposed to be molested by the devil. You are not supposed to be maandu by the devil. You are somebody special. You have power over the power of darkness. And anyone here that the enemy is messing up his life, by reason of this knowledge, you are liberated. Yeah. You are delivered from the power of darkness in the name of Jesus. Number two, so we continue from there. Number two today, for you to manifest to your world, you must grow up. Say to your neighbor, grow up. You must grow up. Go back to the scripture. Romans 8, 19, we read. The earnest expectation of creature, they wait for the manifestation of the sons of God. 
The word son used here is the mature son. They are not waiting for um, the, the baby son. You know, where is Samuel Alao? Is Samuel somewhere there? Samuel is not there. Um, I need somebody. Okay, uh, where is Raji, Lola Raji? Matthew, where's your wife? Okay, tell, Lola, can you bring um, Caris? Matthew, take Caris from Lola. We need, we need two sons here. Uh, you know. Romans 8, 19. The earnest expectation of creature, they wait for the manifestation of the son. The word son here is the mature. Can you come on the altar? Mr. Caris, Mr. Caris does not like code. He's from Arepo. He come to this side. We don't like code in that part of, 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 of the Atlantic. Okay. So this is a son, a son Matthew, and a son Caris. See the way Caris looking. And the um, Bible says, Romans 8:19, the endless expectation of the world is waiting for the manifestation of which of the sons? Uh, they are waiting for the mature son. This is a son. This is a son. But this matured man called Matthew is the hero son. Why this baby son is the techno son. Like a techno phone. Okay? This is techno son. This is hero son. But what Romans 8, 19 is saying is that the world is not waiting for the baby. The baby can't manifest. I'd say to this baby right now, go and drive the car outside. He's looking at me. Which of the toy are you talking about? But I tell Matthew, go and drive the car outside. He will say thank you hundred times before getting outside. And he wants to drive the car. The world is waiting for people who have come of age. And that's what Galatians chapter 4, verse 1 says. He said, this guy is an heir. He holds the car. He holds the estate. He said, but I heard, as long as he's a techno, He's a babe. He's not different from a servant. Even though he owns everything, he'll be lord over her. And her, as long as he's a babe, he's a child, he cannot step into manifestation. This afternoon, the Lord is saying, leave this stage of carries and get to Matthew's stage. Leave baby stage because there are certain things God cannot give to you at this level. And you have been praying for it. But God is saying, you want the car, you want the house, you want the husband, grow up. Come into maturity. You know, my, thank you very much. God bless you. Uh, my boy, when he was four years old, came to me one day. He has been watching so much of Henry Danger. If you know anything, they call Henry Danger. And a lot of shooting. And he said, Daddy, can you buy me a gun? Huh? Eh? Which of the gun? <laughs> and I said to him, to shoot who? He said, to shoot the devil. Oh. Even your father does not have a gun. Uh, uh. But this guy is saying, get me a gun. I just want to shoot anybody causing evil. That is his own understanding. But do you know as a father, I can't trust him with a gun. Because he may try to test it on the, <laughs> on the mother, not the father. <laughs> If I decide to test it. <laughs> and I need my wife alive. <laughs> and her, as long as he's a child, is not different from a servant. Even though he owned the estate. But they can't give it to him. Because he's still a babe. We have been crying for manifestation. There are people who will never manifest until you grow up. You must leave the techno stage and become mature son. The heel son. Leave the baby stage. So the things you are crying for will come faster if you are mature. God look at you and say, this my son is ready. In one of the hour of grace, I was teaching about uh, the move of the spirit. And I'm saying, I said that uh, there are people who the, the Lord will never give power because if God give them power like Elijah, that they can command fire to come down from heaven, many people will have roasted. I'm telling you, 
If you ease at them, you say, now let your mouth catch fire. <laughs> so the fire is not there because the man is not mature for the fire. He's going to misuse the fire. He's going to misfire if the fire is given to him. So there are things we want. We want to manifest. We want to see the glory of God. God is saying number two this afternoon is to grow up. Leave the baby stage. The endless expectation of the creature, they are waiting for the mature sons of God. Or it takes maturity to manifest to your world. If we continue from Galatians chapter 1 and go to verse 2, even though this boy owns everything, he said, he will be under many tutors and governors until the time appointed of the father. That's the maturity time. If he's not over 18, he does not have access to the inheritance. Below 18, he will be a servant. He's not different from a servant. That's what verse 1 says. And verse 3, he will be under many tutors and governors. Verse 3 now, verse 3. He said, so, even so we, when we were children, we were in bondage. Under the element of this world. Children, not different from servant. Children in bondage. Under the element of this world, under tutors, under governors, people will begin to tell them, this is the way to do it, this is the way to do it. Mature people, they don't need that guidance. They know what they ought to do. They step into their inheritance. They take what belongs to them. So if you are going to manifest this month of June, you must grow up. You must step into maturity. There are certain things you need to shed. You know, Christianity of this age, we don't hear a very solid message again. Message that has to do with repentance, restitution. Message that break you down and take the pride in you away. This morning I was listening to Bishop Oedepo sharing about, uh, I think they had him in Winners today, they call it um, uh, um, marriage banquet or covenant day of marital bliss in that place. And he was saying, a lot of people are not married today because of pride. Somebody proposed to you, he said, a <laughs> You know, I used to make a jest of uh, the Tolu Emmanuel family, if you, if you know them. When uh, Tolu Emmanuel proposed to Yemi in those days, in this, so Yemi came to me in my office there. I said, Pastor, how are you going to make Tolu proposed to me. She was happy with inside. You just uh, <laughs> oh, make me one now, two boys. <laughs> and they are still counting. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Many are not married because of that kind of step. Somebody proposed to you. Instead of you to say, um, let me think about it. He said, me and you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. God is looking for people who are mature. You must leave certain characters that will take blessing away from you and come into uh, maturity. Manifestation comes for people who are mature. You must grow up. Leave childish behavior. Childish attitude. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, um, uh, Paul was saying something to this church in Corinth. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 from verse 1. He said, there are many things I want to tell you. Brethren, I can't, I can't speak to you. I could not speak to you as unto spiritual. But I speak to you as carnal. When we read from another translation, you will use that. He attributed carnality to people who are babies. I speak to you as carnal, even as babes in Christ. So babes and Carnality, they go together. People who are baby, who refuse to grow. Mature man who is still taking from the bottle. Wearing pampas. Man at 40. I met such man, one man like that. He was quarreling with the wife. So I called him just to talk to him. He said, Pastor, I am a typical undo man. I don't take shit from anybody. Undo man. But I see a babe. Because the subject matter, you just need to calm down, love your wife, and the home will be peaceful. 
But there are people who will never get to that level. They want to tell you, I know my rights. I know my age. If not for this church team, you think we are in the same level? We know we are not in the same level. Go back to 1 Corinthians chapter 3 uh, and verse 1. Paul said, I want to tell you spiritual things, but I cannot because you are carnal, you are babes. The way I look at your eyes, I will tell the truth because you are not ready for it. Verse 2. Verse 2. We read up to verse 3. He said, I fed you with meat and not meat. They are supposed to be eating meat. They are 40. But Paul said, oh yeah, bring your mouth. They, mm, mm, mm. they drink meat, not meat. He said, you are not able to bear it, neither yet are you able. You are not ready for this next level. I pray for someone here, you'll be ready. Amen. So come up to maturity. Verse 3. Verse 3. Then we'll read the scripture from NIV. He said, because you are yet carnal. Remember, we, he, he associates carnality to people who are still babies in Christ. Because among you, you have envy. Somebody buy something. They said, oh, brother so-and-so just bought a car. Let's dedicate it outside. Mm, car. Mm. Don't know how he got money. Mm, car. Envy. Strife. Division. This is not like Arsenal man you. It's division. Practical division in the house of God. He said, but are you not yet carnal? And you walk as men. Give me NIV. Start from verse 1. Same scripture. NIV. NIV. He said, brothers, I could not address you as spiritual, but as worldly, mere infant in Christ. Worldly people are infant in Christ. Verse 2. He said, I gave you meek, not solid food, for you are not yet ready for it. You know, you are taking Cerillac. Indeed, you are still not ready. Somebody shout, I'm ready. I'm ready. And verse 3. He said, you are worldly, for since there is jealousy Quarreling among you. Are you not worldly? You are acting like mere men. You are not ordinary men. So that verse 1, go back to Kim James Version. He said, I spoke to you as babes. I lower my language to be able to communicate to you. I'm supposed to be telling you about the YDS, but I'm telling you about 1, 2, A for apple, B for bananas. That's what I'm teaching you. He said, I spoke to you as babes, not as mature men. There are things I want to bring to your level. He said, but the way I look at you, you are an abuse. You are babes in Christ. You have not come to that maturity. And if you read the concordance and the commentary of that verse 1 to 3, Paul was saying they are babies because in communication they have not matured. There are people in their communication, when they speak, you wonder, how old is this man? Somebody once said, another day, that it's better to keep quiet. People will not know you are a fool. But the moment you just say something, somebody is looking at you, ah, this beautiful lady, the utterance just give her away tell you that, ah, no, this is not your level. This handsome man, the utterance just give him away. It is, maturity is in communication. There are people who talk at 21, you are wondering, where has this boy been? Who gave him this exposure? This experience? He's speaking above his age. And there are people who are 40. When they speak, you are wondering, Egbani, who is this man? Where is he coming from? You can't see any maturity. And God is saying, you want to manifest in this month of June, come to maturity. Let your communication be seasoned. Let your communication be guided. Don't say things you don't mean. And mean what you say. You are not a politician. Don't give empty promises. Speak words with authority. That's the attribute of mature people in God. Don't speak as carnal. He said, I speak to you as carnal, as babe in Christ, because you are not ready. He said, even now, as I'm preaching to you, you are not ready to bear the things I want to tell you. There are many things I want to communicate. He said, but I measure your maturity. You are not ready. You are not at that level. You know, 
There are people, simple, sim, simple provocation. The real person will jump out. I will show you my true color today. It shows the true color has always been there. He said, don't think we are in a church. Oh, let's leave Christianity aside. You hear that from time to time. He said, please leave pastor out of this matter. Let me talk to you as man to man. I'm not your age mate. If not for Riaza, you think you, uh, you, uh, I'll be here? <laughs> eh? Usher says, sit down there. He said, who are you to command me? Do you know who I am? No, that's number one point in manifestation. You must know who you are. <laughs> but not talk as a babe. Don't talk as a babe. He said, I, I ought to be giving you meat. In fact, in the course of this teaching, you will see that there are different levels. The meat stage, the meat stage, the bone stage. There are people who are supposed to be, even the strong meat, before the bone stage. There are some people who are supposed to be cracking strong bone. He said, but I feed you with milk. Because you are not ready. It's like carries. I'm sure carries is still being fed with cereal. And um, if they need to give carries solid, they have to mix it up with a lot of um, soup that will make the thing to go in its mouth. But give Matthew the mountain. You don't need any draw soup. <laughs> it will be injury if you give carries bone to crack. Even the teeth in the mouth is not even complete. But give Matthew bone. You will know the difference between Matthew and Major. <laughs> you don't know Major. <laughs> First Peter chapter 2. First Peter chapter 2. Grow up to maturity. Somebody say, I'm mature. I'm growing up. I'm growing up day by day. Say it with your mouth. I'm growing up day by day. In the name of Jesus. This is one of the job of a pastor. He, give me First Peter chapter 2 verse 1. He gave us pastor for the maturing of the saints, for the work of the ministry. First Peter chapter 2, verse 1, he said, lay aside malice. I used to say there are people who have distinction in malice. They don't want to talk to you. The moment they see you enter that gate, they face the eastern part. And they are making artificial phone call. Hello? Hello? He's not making any call. He just wants to avoid. These are Christian, born again, sometimes leaders. And he said to them, he said, lay aside all manliness, not some. And all guys, hypocrisy, envy. You see, envy is coming again. And all evil speaking. He said, put them aside. Verse 2. Verse 2. Then you see, he compared, he said, as newborn babes, they desire the sincere milk of the world that they may grow thereby. He saying to them, desire the word of God. So that you can grow and live this level that you have. God does not want you, Kana, he does not want you to act as a baby. He wants you to study the word, renew the word with your, with, I mean, renew your mind with the word. Go into the world. There are certain things you will leave if you know the world. And they talk about all forms of malice, backbiting, hypocrisy. He said, lay them aside. Put them aside. You cannot offend a genuine Christian. It's dangerous. And when you keep malice with a genuine Christian, things will not work well for the other person. Because a genuine Christian does not keep malice with anybody. He greets everybody. He's happy with everybody. But inside you, you are dying. You are saying that when he came in, he greeted everybody, he didn't greet me well. And maybe the lady didn't know. And from that day, you held it against her. And the lady kept moving forward. She just qualified, she just got a new job, things are working for her, and you are in the one spot. Because inside you, there is envy. There is jealousy. There is malice. You are holding grudge against someone who does not even know you exist. And people are held on one point. Please, I beg of you this afternoon. Anything that will make you remain where you are, lay it aside. Lay aside babyish behavior. In your communication, I want you to be mature. When we see you talk, let's see somebody who is broken. Somebody who, who has come into maturity. And you know, studying the word of God is one thing that can help you to get mature. 
Acts chapter 20, verse 32. Acts 20, 32. He said, the word, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace that is able to build you up. The word is able to build you up. It is able to bring you to maturity. And this word is able to give you an inheritance among those who are mature. I want someone this afternoon who wants to manifest, leave the meat stage. Even stop eating meat. Strong meat. I want you to go to the bone stage. Exercise your mind by reason of use. Put the word of God to work. Study the word until that word become part of you. And let that word jump out of you. When you want to speak, speak from the place of knowledge. A place of depth of the word of God. Don't speak as a camera person. When every other person look at something with an ordinary high, he said, you are not mere men. Look at it with a spiritual high. When people say things are not working, you tell them that it's working. They say, what can you say? I say, I can see something beyond my eyes. I can see, so I can see something that you all are not seeing. Do you know 2019, someone here, you are going to end it very great. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you are going through right now. It doesn't matter what you've been through. It doesn't matter the situation and the state of your bank account. But this year, 2019, I have, I have confidence in God. You know, the more I prepare for days of grace coming, the Lord keep assuring me. He said, tell them, remind them about the prophecy at the beginning of the year. The Lord says, this year you'll be a priest. Amen. Men will praise you. Amen. It's a struggle-free year. Amen. That's what God said at the beginning of the year. It's a year of the Spirit. It's a year of the Spirit. It's a year of laughter. You have not experienced any of this. Get ready. In this month of June, you will experience them. Amen. Before this first half is over, your major testimony will reach your heart. Amen. You'll be a sign and a wonder to your word in the mighty name of Jesus. So number two point, if you are going to see manifestation is to grow up. Come to maturity. God wants to entrust estate into your hand. Big treasure into your hand. But he's not going to give the money to babes. He's not going to give the money to people who are carnal. I tell you, if God trusts somebody, some people with one billion, they will marry three wives. Because at that level, they feel that you are too local for my level. Do you know who I am? By reason of the money in back your account. The money that can finish in one day. That can finish anytime soon. But you know, when you know who you are in Christ, we come to maturity. Money become a servant. And money flow in the direction of people who are mature. As I'm speaking right now, there are people, when money sees them, you run from them. They only see things that are not the real thing. Not the real testimony. What God told me in this month of June, he said, where we are right now, will be a mess. will be trash compared to where he's taking us to. Have you heard that prophecy from my mouth before? It will be trash from where God is taking us to. So what God is saying is that don't celebrate where you are. Just thank me for where you are because where you are is more to where I'm taking you to. But where I'm taking you to is a, is a function of you coming up. Joseph, wake up. Arise. Mature. Live where you are. Certain things you have to drop for your next level. Check your life. What am I doing right now that is not in consonant with the word of God? Drop it. Because maturity, what you are celebrating right now, do you know the meaning of trash? Is death filthy compared to what God has in stock. You are still going to have houses all over the world. Yeah. Now, because he has given you a plot of land in Odoguyo, you don't want anybody to rest again. Trash. Trash compared to the glory that is coming. If you're out, you know, don't go on, not with any way, you know. I'm just saying that is small. You're going to have a house in London, yeah. in, in New York. Yeah. I'm talking to that person saying the loudest amen. Yeah. It's trash. Where you are today is trash compared to where God is taking to you. So when you keep saying, do you know who I am? You are trash. With all due respect. Because where you are right now is nothing. Do you know where, what I'm wearing? I don't care. It's trash. When you look at yourself, this week I stumbled on a video of T.G. Jakes many years ago. And I showed to my wife, she can't believe. T.G. Jakes was maybe 30 something at that time. And in one of the messages I listened to this week, he said, 
uh, I know Pastor Neil Jones when I used to wear jerry coin. But do you know TG days right now? Where is the jerry coin? That's what they call maturity. Some of you, you are laughing at Pastor A. Wait for your turn. <laughs> Wait for your turn. It's a gift. Wait for your turn. It will just come. Mature. I saw one of, one of us in the course of this week during the holiday. And when, she's, when he sat in my office, I saw gray hair on his hair. And he's even younger than me. I saw gray hair in this place. I said, where are you getting all this from? You know, he couldn't explain. But many years ago, he likes the Afro. But the Afro now is white in the Afro. It's called maturity. Certain things will come a function of age. If there's anything you don't have right now, don't let anybody cast you down. Don't let anybody say you are nobody. Tell them, give me some time. After some time, come and look at my life. We used to say this many years ago. Give me some time. Give me some time. Don't write me off. I'm work in progress. God is working on my destiny. Give me some time. I'm not yet there. I'm just moving to maturity. So don't write off this case study. Praise the Lord. So number two, if you want to see manifestation, you must grow up. Number three, and we we'll stop there for this afternoon. Number three, if you want to see manifestation, you must increase in power. You must increase in power. Power will determine your manifestation. Your, your level of power will determine how you manifest to your world. Your level of power in the school of power. Psalm 66 verse 3. Psalm 66 verse 3 says, Through the greatness of your power shall your enemy or your world submit themselves to you. You manifest as a result of the power at work in your life. And this is what an average person is looking for all over the world. They are looking for affluence. They are looking for power. They are looking for ability to dominate their world. People join occult because they need power. People who are doing well in life, somebody says, let us take you to one Baba to do a charm for you and do covering for you. Listen to me. All you need today is spiritual God's power. No other power can save only the name of Jesus. And Luke chapter 10, 19 says, I give to you power. The power you are looking for from everywhere, you have it, if you're a child of God. I give you power to tread upon serpent and what again? Scorpion. And over all the power of how many enemy? Any many? How many of the enemy? All the powers of the enemy. And he said, nothing shall by any mistake hurt you. Enemies hurt you. Nothing can hurt you because I've given to you power. Power is a real need of man. People are hungry for power. People visit Abalis because they need power. People go to spiritual home because they need power. People worship men as God because they need power. But God says, behold, I give to you power to tread upon serpent and scorpion. And over all the powers of the enemy. This power is on the inside of you. Jesus told the disciple at 1 8, he said, Don't move out until you receive, you are endued with power. Then you can be my witness in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and all to the uttermost part of the earth. The power of God is available for you. And I want you to maximize this power. The power of God on the inside of you will determine your manifestation, will determine how your world will submit to you. When you say to one, Come, it, it cannot disobey. Because this is a man and a woman who are operating in power. In Acts chapter 1-8, I think I mentioned that already. Psalm 105, verse 3, 13 to 15. Psalm 105, that is the theme of our last camp program. When they move from one nation to another, he suffered no man to do them any wrong, any harm. He rebuked king for their sins, saying, touch not my anointed. And do my prophet no harm. My prophet, they are under covering. Don't do them any evil. Don't do them any harm. Because I have covered them. This afternoon, increase in power. The power of hell will bow. Increase in power. You will manifest to your word. And listen, your power level is your manifestation level. If where you are right now, the power you demonstrate is all you can demonstrate, then in the world, that is the manifestation we will see. Ezekiel 47, 1 to 5, buttress that. He said, I saw the angel of the Lord 
The first time he measured, it was to my ankle. Next time he measured, is, is it got 47, 1 to 5? It was to my knee. Next time he measured, it was to my loin. The next time he measured, it became, verse 5, it became a river that cannot be passed over. My power level is my manifestation level. There are people who, goes in, who go into the swimming pool and they enter baby swimming pool. The water only gets to their knee and they say they are in swimming pool. You know, have you seen children in swimming pool? They are jumping. For them, that is a swimming pool. They are just having a shower. They are pouring water on their head and they are jumping. But there are others, they will put a line and they said, this thing is 32 feet. If you love your father and your mother, <laughs> don't cross this line. If you are not a professional, don't cross this line. Have you seen such a thing before? Okay, you know me, I don't, I don't deceive myself. When I get there, I only just share people who are there. Well done. <laughs> the Lord bless you. One time we were on vacation and um, uh, it was a very big swimming pool. And uh, my children said, can we go there and swim? I, I sat them down to tell them the history of their life. <laughs> And from time to time, <laughs> I don't go where my mother never sent me. <laughs> uh, I think I've told the executive one story before in that direction. You know, when we were growing up, how somebody drowned uh, in the water in the name of swimming. Don't try to do class. If you can't swim, don't go there. What's wrong with you? <laughs> it's, 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 you know, I just want to feel belong on 32 feet. <laughs> you will feel belong in heaven. <laughs> Please. What are we saying today? Your power level is your manifestation level. There are people who go into 32 feet and they are like a fish. They just go in there. They go out there. Congratulations, Mr. Fish. Uh, uh, but, but I'm not fish. <laughs> I'm me. You know, but this man come out. It's like Jesus is power without measure, spirit without measure. You take him to 32 feet, he's swimming. 50 feet, he's swimming. 100 feet, he's swimming. Because he has mastered the art. But there's somebody else where if he goes into 10 feet, they need to put a balloon. He will just stay on a balloon. And he's a learner of the heart. Stay where you belong. But you can't manifest. When that guy goes to 32 feet, people are hailing him. He, he has come into maturity. But you, you are still a baby. Stay with your balloon and your tire and be, and be floating with your tire. Where you belong. Your maturity level will determine your manifestation. Your power level will determine your manifestation. The price you pay. It's Proverbs 27, 21. Proverbs 27, 21. He said, the furnace is for gold and the finding pot is for silver. So is a man to his praise. Your praise is a function of the price you pay. The person who is swimming in 32 feet, he didn't start with 32 feet. And you just go there and said, ah, if Wale can do it, what Wale can do, Joseph can do better. And you just jump into 32 feet with all your anointing. You will drink gallon. You just, you're pastor, 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 pastor. <laughs> they don't use anointing in that realm. You have to develop it. If today you are ankle deep, stay there. Tomorrow you are knee deep, stay there. Next tomorrow you are, you are loin deep, stay there. Then it gets to a stage where you be, it becomes a river that cannot be passed over. Please, your word will obey you if you can increase in power. Your, your, your word will surrender to you. Through the greatness of your power shall your enemy surrender to you. Somebody you are, you are being molested, somebody is trying to, to, to pull you down, increase in power. Go to your room and pray severally. And that's one of the ways you can increase in spiritual power. Where you go on your knee and enter certain realm and mention certain name in that prayer. And said, if this person does not repent, Holy Ghost, Saga, Baragata, Yaga, Holy Ghost, do the judgment yourself. I'm not going to curse. I'm not. But you enter that realm, you are increasing in power. All you need to do when you get to office the following day, will be shouting, "I'm not the only one." No, they send me. They send me. They send me. You will know that the power pass power. And this afternoon, I want someone to demonstrate that power. If you want to manifest in 2019, increase in power. 
Get to the point where when you pray in the Holy Ghost, power is being released on the inside of you. I want you in the spirit in this service. I'm not talking about 32 feet. I'm talking about tall mainland kind of water that has no measurement. Rivers that cannot be passed over. I'm talking about the spirit without measure. And in the realm of the spirit, as you pray in tongues, you are jumping into many rivers. And people who have molested you, who says, no, we are going to see the end of this man. No, we are going to drive him away from this office. No, we are going to put him to shame. No, we are going to do this to him. When they see the power you have increased, the way this guy has increased in power, they say, no, those who want to bewitch your business. I learned business men and women, I think during breakthrough service, 330, we're going to talk about that. They come to spend bad money to bring bad market. No, not to someone who carry Holy Ghost fire. Once bad money becomes, it becomes good. And the person who brought the bad money will be wondering, I thought I had spent bad money here and it's not working. And before you know it, owner of evil load will carry the load. It depends on your power level. If you are prayerful, power will increase. Matthew 17, 21, he said, this kind cannot go except by prayer and fasting. There are certain levels you can't manifest except you're a man and a woman of prayer. Your prayer life, your fire life is something else. And when this guy is praying, you are manifesting and touching certain realm. Many of us, we have not prayed to that realm. I tell you, if we care to pray more, we will have more manifestation. Pray more, you have more breakthrough. Pray more, you begin to get into certain level where strength, energy, certificate cannot take you. And this afternoon, I think I have about three more minutes. I want somebody to touch certain things that will increase your power level. If you cannot remember anything in this service, just note that your power level is your manifestation level. The way you pray in this service will tell us whether you are hungry for power or not. Whether you are hungry for manifestation or not. Again, I say it for you to remember this message. Where you are today is trash compared to where God is taking you. And if this is trash, it's time for you to increase in power. Because your power level determines what God can entrust into your hand. I'm talking about true riches. Not any amount you have in your bank account today is only. If you have 30 million in your bank account today, it's 30 million naira only. 30 million cannot even buy a property in... Um, in, I don't think whether I can buy a land, a banana island. Hmm? Somebody said I'm too far. Oh, Guru Jiari. You know, this week I I I, I just um, I saw one one of <laughs> I saw one agent, one agent I used to know, and I saw on his Instagram page he he displayed two properties, and I love the property so much. And uh, I said, where is this property? He said, it's at Omole Estate. Do you know Omole Estate? Yeah. Yeah, Omole Estate that is not even on the, on the island. It's on the mainland and very far. And he said, how much? He said, each of the beauty is 130 million. I said, wow, this is beautiful. Lendo Shika, Bari, Ayagaga, Alada, Rekato, 130 million. That's lovely. But do you know your power level? Determine your manifestation level. You know, when you sit such house, you just tell them, I'm I'm, I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'm not there today. That's why where I am is trash mm -hmm. compared to where God is leading me. What do you have that you cannot go to toilet again? <laughs> what do you have? What, what do you have right now? Glory is coming. Amen. Favor is coming. Amen. Honor is coming. So, so what you have right now is trash compared to where God is taking you. Pray in the spirit right now. Increase your power level. Increase, increase, increase your power level. Increase your power level. Don't stay where you are. Don't stop where you are. Increase your level of glory. Increase your level of power. Your power level is your manifestation level. Your maturity level is your manifestation level. Lift up your voice and pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Somebody don't keep quiet in a service like this. Lift up your voice. Make power available. Make power available. La de kwa de kaya bara. Shala bara doko. Zala da ya da ba 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 bara da. Somebody make power available. Do exploits. Do exploits. Do exploits. Do exploits.
through the greatness of your power shall your enemy submit Jump into the river. Jump into the river. Yellow Cotabaya, yeah, 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 yeah